guys, this is Kenny the Messy Sulfur over at Royal Appleberry, and today I am doing something I've never done before. Um, I actually entered the Amy Wharton Soap Challenge. Uh, for those of you who know about that, Amy Wharton hosts a soap challenge monthly, and you can enter into it, and she'll give you the video showing you what the technique is, and there is a technique. So um, I was um, pretty much gave a little kick in the pants to get into it because I don't know I just I always say I'm gonna do stuff like that but I never do so however uh, the technique is called dancing funnel technique and it is done with um, squeeze bottles so um, this is brand new and now I did I think I messed up a little bit already because I forgot to mix my colorant um, in oil first so I'm gonna have a few specks in here hopefully it doesn't turn out too noticeable or bad because if it does then I'm just gonna remake it and not enter this one so um, yeah and this technique is um, let me look at her name I don't want to muck it up this technique was created by Tatiana Serco of creative soaps by Stetso so I'm not gonna talk through the video so just enjoy the music and watch along so here we go guys so this is my um <laughs> dancing funnel technique and i guess i well what i did i mean i i think i got the technique but i just don't have enough green so i can't finish it um i'm probably going to do another i don't know what color scheme um we'll just have to see but at least this was my test run i kind of figured i was going to have to do two because I didn't know what I was doing, but <laughs> I do like it. I think it's really, really cool looking. Um, again, yeah, I I started to leave some uh, raw soap aside just in case I ran out of green, but I was not thinking. So this is what we have, and I think it turned out really nice. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven so it can gel, and um, that's it until the next video. So if you guys like this video and you want to help this channel grow if you are not subscribed already please do give a thumbs up and subscribe um and yeah that's it for now so until the cutting video guys i will see you then bye bye all right guys um since i had batter left over and um one of the rules is the outline of each circle has to be the same color and i couldn't take this lighter color which i mixed afterwards and you know add it to that same loaf so i'm just going to go ahead and do kind of the same technique but in my tall skinny mold and just see how this looks and that was another one of the rules it had to be in a slab mold so um that's why i'm using that's why i was using a slab mold but now i'm going to use my tall skinny just because you know i kind of would like to keep up with the same theme of the soap 
I know it's probably hard for you guys to see down in this mold because my hand keeps getting in the way. But this is actually really cool. Now I kind of wish that I used this color scheme <laughs> before I used the uh, the darker or like the, the brighter green. I like this soft green. I guess this is a soft green or pastel type of green. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing the same technique that I did and go from there until I'm all the way up to the top where I have nothing left which I knew I was going to have too much you know uh, soap batter left so you know this is fine but I kind of love this color now I'm kind of like boohoo you know and this is not going to look the same because this is in a tall skinny mold versus being in um a slap mold so when I cut it it's going to look totally different <clears throat> and I have to learn for the next one that I do to stop using such a heavy hand with the color that I have the least amount of that's what I keep forgetting and that's why I ran out so I do like this technique and I was fretting because I thought it was going to be kind of difficult but actually it's not so difficult at all I actually really like it so just keep going It's just to remember where to put your next um, color. That's always one I seem to forget your outline color. Okay, so instead of boring you all with scraping these um, bottles, I just went on and paused for a minute. So, I'm just going to do something like that, and that's about it. Nothing crazy. And, um, yeah, I'm most definitely going to make this again, because now I'm, like, super inspired. The reason why I don't get into competitions is because, you know... I just feel I don't like comp I don't like competing with other people. That's the number one thing. So that's my biggest thing. Um, I've always disliked competing with other people. So I've done one and um, I did win. And not to say I'm winning this one. It's just you know. But even though I won, it didn't boost my confidence or anything. I'm just that way. You know, it's <laughs> I've always been that way. So it's nothing you know crazy. Just that's just the way I am, Sue. So. Um, yeah, that's why I haven't entered into any competitions, but I guess I'm over that now because this was really fun and, um, I am going to make this up again and I might even still do it, you know, just even after, well, well, the competition is closed, but well, after it's over and just start putting some, some of these soaps in my shop. So, um, thank you, Amy Warden. And, um, again, let me get her name because I would really, Tatiana. Thank you for coming up with this awesome, awesome design. I really appreciate it that you share with us so that we can try to make it. So, um, yeah, this time I am actually leaving into the cutting video, which I believe I'm going to attach to this video. So if it's not, then, you know, just to go um, to the next video and watch it. But more than likely, it'll be attached to this one. So until next time, guys, I will see you. Love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing at everything you do. And my hands are sweaty. <laughs> so next time, I'll see you later. Bye. 
Hey guys, this is Kitty Missy Soper over at Royal Appleberry Inn. Um, I wasn't going to post this video um, because I didn't enter this soap into the soap challenge, Amy Warden soap challenge, the dancing funnel. But I figured since I made and you guys saw me make it, that I should go ahead and, you know, the cutting. I wasn't going to do the cutting or the making, but you would have saw these soaps in my store and be like, hey, where did I come from? But, so, there's many reasons why I did not submit this soap in if you watched uh, the uh, making video then you saw that I didn't have enough green so I had to take the rest of my colorant and pour it into a different uh, mold which was a tall skinny so this is the reason why I'm not submitting it because I oven processed it and whenever I oven process that's what I get all those white, those white speckles so that's one of the reasons and then two like I said I didn't have enough green so I ran out of um, I ran out of green and if I mix some more green then the colors weren't going to be um, they weren't going to be the same what am I doing <laughs> they weren't going to be the same so um, that's why I just said well I can't enter it because I would be disqualified because the colors are not the same so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this anyway I'm not excited about this soap in any way shape fashion or form but I figured I'd cut it anyway and I'll clean them up and plain the tops and all of that so I'm really interested to see what's going on with uh, the one I did in the tall skinny because I think that's one that that's the one that's going to be really really cool looking. This one here is just eh, not really concerned about it <laughs> at all really. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut that and get out of the way and I will deal with that later. So yeah that would have been my submission for the dancing funnel and yeah that's not pretty at all. But I did redo it, and you guys will probably see that video today as well because I'm going to post them both on the same day, um, just because, uh, just because I think I should. <laughs> this is the batter that I had left, and I had to lighten that green, which I ended up liking this green way better than the other one. I'll show you. See, that's a darker green, and that's a much lighter one. I like the lighter one better, and that's the reason why I could not continue on making that so because they were two different colors and again I would have been disqualified. so um I think I'm gonna make these two inches thick let's see maybe yeah we'll go with two inches thick because they are shorter bars so I'm gonna go ahead and lock that little end off I got so much cleaning to do guys so much Ooh, look at that that is so stinking cute. I knew that was going to be pretty. That's why I decided to do it like that. I kind of kept up with the same pour. I just did it in a loaf mold versus a slab mold. And um, I knew it was going to come out looking like that. So that's actually really, really cool. Um, should I do these two or two and a half? Maybe I'll do these at two and a half because they are very small. Yeah, we'll just do them like little bee cubes. There we go. And this is fragrance in um, Cranberry Yuzu as well because it was the same batter. But this is like so cool, man. I am going to start doing this, okay? Because <laughs> I love the way that looks. And those colors just really complement one another. They're like popping like crazy. So thank you, Tatiana Serco, for coming up with this. I hope I'm saying her name. It might be Serco for uh, coming up with this design, creating this design for all of us to try out. I know I said it already, but I thank you again because it is pretty cool, even when you do it in a uh, loaf mold. So, I really do like this. This is a darling little soap. And I'm thinking about doing, you know, you guys hear me always say, oh, I'm thinking about doing this, and I'm thinking about doing that, and I end up doing none of them. <laughs> but I am thinking about doing mini bars. I might start doing that because I won't mention the company, but they did have a sale, and I could have sworn I read that it said it holds 40, 44 to 48 ounces of soap, and they were tall skinny molds, and I'm like, oh, they had an amazing price on it, so I'm like, I'm getting two of those, I got two of them, and they are wee little, loaf, wee little things, <laughs> they're tall skinny for mini soaps, <laughs> they are not tall skinny for, like, your, your regular tall skinny, so... I was not happy with that, and um, Gabe and my mom were just like, keep them. You can use them for melts and pour or whatever. So I might just start busting out mini loaves and um, 
yeah because some people have asked me especially men which i don't know if i'll get back into making a whole bunch of men soaps because again they don't sell but um i might just make those because everybody don't like big soaps you know you know you know and then you might want to try it out and just like oh let me just see if her soap is any good trust me it is good <laughs> but i'll let you see for yourself if you're just on the fence you're not sure if you want to buy a whole loaf of, i mean a whole a whole loaf that would be awesome but uh <laughs> a whole bar of soap versus a mini soap so i just might do that it depends on the weight of these little boogers too because uh if, they might be about four dollars bar probably well, not these, of course, <laughs> but they may end up being about four dollars a bar just because they, even though they're small, they do have weight on them. So that is it, guys. These are so stinking cute, and I do love them. And I think I am going to do, yeah, I think I'm going to do a soap. My next soap is going to be out of this because I'm kind of in love with this technique right now. So, um, yeah, I'm going to clean that up. <laughs> And you guys may or may not see them on my website. You probably will just because once I clean them up, they look really, really good. I'm going to take the top off and clean up the sides and all that fun stuff. So that is it, guys. If you do like this video and if you are not subscribed and you want to help my channel grow, please do be sure to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down there and give a thumbs up. And that way you will become a part of my stinking awesome crew, which I love having new subscribers, of course. And also, please do comment. Leave me a comment. I love to hear you guys' thoughts. I love to read your comments. And I know it's getting harder and harder because my channel is growing for me to always respond. But just know that I always do read your comments for sure. So that's it, guys. Until next time, I will see you later. Love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome and amazing everything you do. Until next time, bye-bye.